Hello again, everyone. Welcome to week nine of the Punt, Pass, and Chat podcast pick six video. Unbelievable. Wow. One week off and he still <laughs> nails it. We're back. Call him Chris the Hammer Shiro. Yeah, we had a little bit of um, scheduling conflict, I guess is the best way to describe Put it. Put your but, wine in, Chris. But we're back. We're not live. Hollywood over here, he's a tough man to get a hold of. We're, we're, we're back, though. <laughs> Well, anyways, hope everybody's had a good couple of weeks, and we're happy to be back, and we're picking six NFL games. And uh, last week I was 4-2. and two. Robert, I believe, was 4-2-2. Two, 4-2-2, two. Two, two, yeah. yeah. So we'll get right to it. Our first game is uh, New Orleans at the Jets. Now, you know, the Jets are kind of like one of those teams. They're a 500 team, and it basically is perfect to describe them because some games – you get the team that beats New England, and then you get the team that gets absolutely blown out by the Bengals. So what Jets team are we going to get this week? And they're home, and you want to think maybe that would help them. No, the Saints, man, I mean, they're on a mission from God. You know, they're Saints, right? They're on a mission from God, right? Homage to the Blues Brothers, great movie. Uh, I like New Orleans in this game. I think Drew Brees is going to light them up. And uh, I see, you know, if we go in the scores, I, I can see a 35 to 10 game for the for the Saints this week. You're on fire t this week. Wow, little little excitement early. On. Hey man, Dolphins win. I mean, that's this is you know, referencing boost. God. Boost, it's amazing. Cameron Wake, uh, I guess, woke you up, huh? <laughs> that's, that's... <laughs> I, uh, I'm going with the Saints, too. Uh, this won't help me in my pursuit of catching you in the pick six standings. Uh, but I'm taking the Saints 28-13. Uh, the Jets, like you mentioned, I mean, it's tough to tell what team's going to show up. Against New England, they look like a team that you know can compete not only in the AFC East, but in the AFC as a whole mm -hmm. in the playoff picture. And then they come out against the Bengals and look like an 0-8 team. <laughs> they, they looked horrible. Uh, but, you know, I think the Saints are an even better team than Cincinnati. I think they're a better team than New England. And, uh, you know, this while it's a home game for the Jets, it's going to be a tough one. So uh, i got to go with the Saints, too. All right. Our next game is uh, Kansas City at Roberts Buffalo Bills. As you can see, he's re leading, excuse me, wearing, yes, because I'm trying to read here. Uh, he's wearing his Kiko Alonso jersey. And uh, this is, you know, this is the day. The Chiefs are the big team in the NFL. I mean, they're the only undefeated team left. They're... They've been the biggest surprise of the season on the podcast. We said that Andy Reid deserves Coach of the Year. And this team is playing very, I mean, they're playing great football. There's just no if ands, or buts. But you know something? They're going to lose one eventually. And guess what? This is a shocker. Oh, God. I'm picking them to beat, <laughs> picking the Bills to beat the Chiefs. Oh, this, is, this is it. Kansas City's train, <laughs> the undefeated train, ends on Sunday at Orchard Park because we all know nobody circles the wagons like the Buffalo Bills. Unbelievable. I had to drop a Chris Berman in there too, man. I'm, like you said, I'm on fire this week, man. I'm, I'm loose. It's Friday. We're having some fun here. Man. I, you know, the Bills have come close. They have come. They almost beat the Bengals. Okay. They almost beat the Patriots. They've had a lot of close calls. Okay. They did beat Miami. Okay. I'll give them that one right. So you know, I think that um, you know the the backup quarterback there. He's he's healthy again. He I can't remember his name, unfortunately. <laughs> What's this guy's name again? You're picking the Bills to win. <laughs> oh, I can't remember goodness. the name of the quarterback. I'm sorry. Wow. What's his number seven? <laughs> I think it's seven. So, anyways, I think he's played halfway decent. Bad I'll be Lewis. honest. Sad Lewis. There Bad we go. Lewis, Lewis is doubtful this week. I thought he. I thought he. I thought I heard he practiced on Wednesday, and I already he's fifty fifty. Well, he's, so. he's limited. Okay, so he but might end up playing. I mean, that being said. He's not out. He's doubtful. Okay. So the Bills' defense is going to be the key to this game. I think they're going to get some turnovers. I think they're going to convert some of these turnovers into points. I like Buffalo in this game. They're playing good football. I think Doug Marone, I do remember his name, has done a very <laughs> good job. I, I think, that, I mean, really, uh, you know, for a team that, you know, most people thought maybe they're going to win three or four games all year, I mean, they could finish at 500. I mean, they really are playing, and this is without their, their regular starting quarterback, E.J. Manuel. I, I know him, too. So I like the Bills in this game. I mean, it's that gut feeling again, like I had with the Dolphins uh, last night against the Chiefs. The Although I sheer and gut. Yeah, Never bet against gut. it. Yeah, not as much as it used to be, but we'll <laughs> take it. So, anyways, now it's your turn, and I'm I'm sure you're picking Buffalo, right? I'm actually uh, for the purposes of the pick six uh -oh. video, I'm picking against them. Woo! I'm taking the Chiefs to uh, maintain their undefeated record. Uh, Twenty to ten, I had the score down as. Uh, I think it'll be a close game, uh, 
but you know, with if Thad Lewis can't play, the quarterback picture gets kind of questionable yeah. there. And you know, we talked about this on the podcast with Kansas City. I mean, their defense has played well, yeah. uh, so it's not going to be easy for the Bills to do much on offense. But you know, like you said, you know, what can the Bills do on defense? That's really where the the X factor comes in. If they can if they can keep the you know hold the Chiefs in check, this is a close game, and yeah. they could very right. well win the game, like you're like you're predicting. But you know, I just think the Chiefs are you know they're they're healthier, they're they're better. I think they win this game, even though it is a road game for them. Okay, our next game is a interesting matchup. It's San Diego at Washington, little AFC West versus NFC uh, East there. A little bit different than what we're used to, and uh, you know, there's always something about a team that from the West Coast playing on the East Coast. You know, that early start for them. That, that you know, I like Washington in this game. I, I think they're playing better football. I think this whole Albert Haynesworth distraction is going to help this team rally behind Mike Shanahan too. I like that a little a uh, little boost there. So. San Diego, I think, is a very good team, and if this game was in San Diego, I'd easily be picking the Chargers. But I, I just like the Reds. I think RG three is he's due for one of his breakout game type thingies. You know, where he rushes for more than hundred yards and breakout, thingies. breakout game type thingies. Yes, yes. Nice. We're winging it here. There's no second takes here. Okay, this, this is all a improvised. podcast featuring two eleven-year-old girls. So, anyways. I'm not even going to reference one direction. If we're going to go there. <laughs> I, I like the Chargers in this game. I'm sorry, I like the Redskins in this game. Sorry about that. I like the Redskins in this game, 20-17. to 17. I'm taking the Chargers. Ooh. Two out of three we disagree. All right, yeah, he's this trying could, to. This could be the week, folks. Mm -hmm. uh, taking the Chargers, close one. Uh, I'm going with a 27-24 score. Uh, the Chargers showed us something against the Colts. You know, this team... Uh, this team has talent. You know, they've got Ryan Matthews going. Uh, that was always a big question mark. You know, Danny Woodhead kind of started off the season. He, But now you got Danny, uh, Ryan Matthews, rather, uh, you know, getting going. So, you know, this is a team that, you know, Rivers is playing okay. They've got a running game. The defense is doing well. I'm going to take them against the Redskins. All right. Okay, I can see that. Next game is Pittsburgh at New England, and you know a couple of years ago this really was the AFC Championship game, but the Steelers are kind of falling in hard times. The Patriots somehow just keep doing it. I mean, they they pull victory out of the jaws of defeat. Seems like every week now. So uh, you know, Tom Brady. I mean, that's it. I mean, really, and I'll give Belichick credit. He did a pretty good job coaching there last week against the Dolphins and. I, I think that's the difference in this game of those two guys, and somehow New England will find a way to win, and uh, they'll win this game. I, I would say maybe twenty four to twenty four to fourteen. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you there. The, uh, you know, the Patriots at home, they're tough to, tough to beat and tough to bet against. Uh, and the Steelers, you know, they, they've they've won a couple in a row here, but you know, they they haven't been playing well. They haven't been able to put it all together. Uh, for the you know over the course of this season, so and I, I just think the Patriots are too good of a team. I mean the Ravens are one thing, especially at home against Heinz Field. They you know they won that game. The Steelers did. I, I think the Patriots will be able to uh, to beat the Steelers pretty handily uh, uh, Sunday. I'm going to take them 31-17. Uh, Our last game is Indianapolis. I skipped one. Did I skipped one. Oakland. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, you're right. Uh, Philadelphia it's at the, Oakland. It's not the pick six no, without six games. Yes, yeah, it's uh, it's Philadelphia at Oakland, and I like the Raiders in this game. I just think the Raiders are kind of flying under the radar. They've put together some consistent efforts. Uh, you know, the Eagles. Everybody thought that offense was going to be high octane under Chip Kelly, and it has been anything but. Obviously, they've had quarterback issues. The Raiders quietly are are playing good football. I mean, not great, but good football. And I think that if it wasn't for the Chiefs. You know, stealing all the attention. I think the Raiders would be getting some consideration for most improved team. Uh, Terrell Pryor is solid quarterbacking. You know, I mean, I like what he does. So I like the Raiders in this game. Let's say twenty to ten. We agree on this one too. What a shame we should have skipped it. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I I like uh, you know Terrell Pryor. Like you were saying, I mean, he, he's really added something to this team. They they haven't had a very good quarterback play in the last several seasons, really. Mm -hmm. To Marcus right. Russell. Yeah, right. <laughs> that was a great draft pick. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, they, they've got Pryor. He can run the ball. He had that 93-yard touchdown run last week. That was impressive. Uh, that was against the Steelers. 
Uh, and, you know, he's shown the, ability, shown the ability with his arm, too, to make plays. So, you know, Raiders at home, i got to take them against the Eagles. Okay. And our last game, as I've already mentioned once, is Indianapolis at Houston. Uh, two months ago, this would have been probably the matchup that's going to determine the AFC South, but now the, the Texans are in disarray. I mean, mm -hmm. it's just really sad. And um, Indianapolis, I mean, you know, two, two losses all year, I think. Are the three? Two or three? I think just two. They won last week, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, they're on the road, but I, I just can't see Indianapolis losing this game. I, I, Houston's defense is banged up a little bit too, I believe. Ah, uh, boy. If, let's, let's say 27 to 17, Indianapolis. I, I don't want 24 10 this one. Okay. I, you know, the Texans are really surprising. I mean, you know, we we talked about this on the podcast Thursday. You know, kind of one of the surprises slash disappointments mm -hmm. of the season. You know how they, you know, they got off to an okay start, but then just fell apart. You know, all the pick sixes at the end of games. Yep. That loss to Seattle sticks out as one that you know they probably should have had, but didn't. You know, they yep. ended up throwing the game away. I think that's where really their season fell apart right yeah. there. I think confidence wise. That game just absolutely killed them. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, when your quarterback is struggling to, you know, finish a game, yeah. you know, when he can't finish a game without making a mistake like that, it's, you know, it's tough to win. And, uh, you know, in this case, you know, you're going up against a team, the Colts, they beat the Broncos, arguably the best team in the AFC. Now you look at the Colts and you say, well, you know, if they can beat the Broncos, how good are they? Right. You know? And, you know, they Colts, they have a great – Great defense. One thing Peyton Manning kind of lacked when he was there was a great defense. Well, Colts have it now. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, of course, Andrew Luck on offense. And the loss of Reggie Wayne might hurt a little bit, but they've got guys over there that can play. They have T.Y. Hilton, a whole group of tight ends that they can turn to. You know, the running game's improved. I was going to say, maybe Mr. Richardson actually does something in this game. Maybe yeah. they, you know, do something to get him going. Yeah. You know, because he really hasn't done anything since he got since he got traded from Cleveland. Right. And they've, you know, the thing about that is, you know, between Richardson and their other running back, Donald Brown, Brown's really been the one getting, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. some, most of the touches. So, you know, a balanced attack can really help you out. And, uh, you know, I think uh, they're going to be a tough team to beat, not only in the AFC South, but in the AFC as a whole, you know. We could see the Broncos and Colts again in the playoffs sometime. Possibly. Which would be a great game. Yeah. But uh, for this one, Colts, Texans, Colts 24, Texans 10, and I guess that wraps it up. It does wrap it up, and we appreciate you folks listening, watching, reading, whatever. We, we really do uh, appreciate your time and everything, patronizing our uh, wonderful uh, multimedia products here at AuburnPub.com. That's right. And uh, until next week, enjoy the games.